All right, guys, I want to go over really quick uh, SOLIDWORKS title blocks. I think it's something that a lot of people will kind of miss because the default files or default templates are not set up with title blocks. I think when people think of a title block, what they think of is really a sheet format. Right, the thing in the back there that actually has the, the lines, if we go ahead and edit the sheet format here, the lines, the text, you know, all the things that we traditionally would think of as a title block. Uh, however, in SOLIDWORKS, that's not what we define as a title block. All right, um, I actually have one set up here. So if I go ahead and go back to, go ahead and exit the sheet here. You can see when I come back down to the, the drawing title block here, right, title block. <laughs> you can double click. You can see there's this little uh, icon that pops up and it shows me fields that uh, I can fill out without having to go down to the sheet format. That was something that I used to do and um, I didn't know any better. I would edit the sheet, I would go down and I would actually make the changes inside of the sheet format um, instead of, you know, doing this the correct way, editing the sheet, uh, sorry, editing the title block from here, filling out my, my values. The nice thing with these is that they can be linked to properties, right? So this is like the description from the model that's on the sheet, right? This is the uh, part number from the model that's on the sheet. Um, and you can change it here and it will change it over in the model if you want to. And these are really easy to set up, right? So um, if I go back to like my default here, um, my default sheet format, let's just open one here. Let's get like our B size sheet format. Um, I, I really wish that these were set up by default by SOLIDWORKS, but you know, um, they did a decent job on their title blocks. Um, or sorry, on a sheet format. So we might as well, I can't even get it right. Um, in the tree over on the left here, what I can do, you can see there's there's no title block. So I'm gonna edit the sheet format so I can see all these fields. I can right click and I can say define title block fields. From here, you get this box that you can resize to the area that contains your fields. You know, you don't want it to be covering the whole drawing. It would kind of get a, a bit annoying. And then you can start selecting and like collecting the fields that you want to be able to fill out easily, right? So, you know, some of these things might be coming directly from the model and you don't want to necessarily change them from here like material, but maybe finish is just something that you're typing in anyways. Might as well make it easy. And, you know, if they fill it out in the drawing, it would show up here, or sorry, here. And if they fill it on the model, it would show up uh, as well. So, um, but any of these other fields that would typically just kind of be manual or, you know, they may have forgotten to fill out in the in the model, you can select, so. Um, from there, you know, you just go ahead and select as many as you want. You can hit OK. Uh, you get an item over in your sheet format now. That's your actual title block. If we exit back to the sheet, and I come down here, you see the little drawing with a magic wand on it. So I can just double click on it. And now I can easily fill out these properties, right? And if I went and saved my, my sheet format now, um, whenever I use this, it would be ready to go. So um, hopefully this helps you guys. Um, there is actually one more thing that I wanted to show you too about the, kind of the, the way by default SOLIDWORKS sets up the sheet format and why it is the way that it is. So, and sorry, I meant templates and sheet formats. So when you start SOLIDWORKS for the first time and you get a, your default drawing, right, you can see it doesn't have a sheet format on it. And the reason that is, is because of the selector, right? If you're using different size drawings and stuff all the time and you want to be able to choose between these, um, it just makes it really easy to come in here and say that I want my, my B size or change it to a C um, instead of having, you know, multiple template files. And the, the problem with having multiple template files is that you have to manage multiple sets of document properties to try to make them the same, right? If you have one template, you can make those settings the same throughout. So um, if, if you do want those different for your different sizes, then by all means, make multiple templates. So uh, hopefully this helps you guys. We'll talk to you later.